Hello everyone, Fath here, and welcome to another video. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to create your own whitelist or allow list bot for 5M and Red M. I will also be showing some images of what the bot will look like in your server, with features like whitelist, allow list, and server status. Make sure to watch until the end to learn how to configure everything. First, we need to access the whitelistm.com website. Here we have the site and the subscription options. There's the free plan, where you can create up to 100 whitelists and allow lists, but you still have full access to the bot except for that limit. After that, you'll need a subscription so people can keep creating new whitelists on your server. Then, we have the pro plan, which unlocks everything with all the benefits, but you're still using the public whitelist and bot. Finally, there's the exclusive bot plan, which gives you all the benefits, but it's a custom bot just for your server. You can choose the name, avatar, status, and anything else you want. Now let's add the bot to your server. Click the add the app button, then select your server. Click continue, do the captcha, and just wait for the confirmation page to load. We've now received confirmation that whitelist M has been added to our server. It says here that we can use the help command to list all the bot's commands, and the whitelist or allow list command to fully set up the bot. Let's head back to Discord, and you'll notice the bot has already sent us a message saying the same thing as on the website. You'll also see that Discord sends a message saying we've been added to the whitelist M support server, where we can ask questions in the private ticket channel or the help me channel with the community. Now back in our server, let's run the main whitelist command to start configuring it. Here we can see that the bot asks us to select the language we want. I'll go ahead and select English so the bot stays in that language. After that, we run the command again, and that's it. You can also see that I'm already on the pro plan since I upgraded before this video. It's just better for me and my server. If you want to upgrade, just click the green button here, and you'll see all the plan benefits in the image. You can pay with debit or credit card through Stripe. Alright, let's get started and configure the database, which is necessary to approve people in game. Here, you need to enter your database information. It mentions not to include the port 3306 since that's the default MySQL port. I'm going to enable my XAMPP, which is probably what you're using on your machines. And I'll show you how to allow MySQL IP access for everyone. It can't be 127.0.0.1 since that's localhost. You need to use your machine's public IP. So, here I'm enabling Apache and MySQL, then accessing PHP MyAdmin. We can click on User Accounts, then click on Add User Account. Enter a username for MySQL. I'll use Test222. For the host name, put a percentage sign, percent symbol, and for the password, choose whatever you want. Under Global Privileges, click Check All, and that's it. Your database is now set up with access for the whitelist and bot. Now, just fill in your MySQL information with your machine's public IP in the bot. Don't forget to check if the access is public. You need to go to phpmyadmin.co and enter the details with the port in the IP. If you can access your MySQL through this site, then everything's good with the public connection. If you can't, try going through the process again or get help from a developer. Here's my MySQL from my VPS because I won't be able to access it locally on my computer with XAMPP and enter the info in the bot, and neither will you. It's necessary for MySQL to be on a VPS or dedicated server. Now that we've finished entering the public MySQL data from my VPS into the bot, it will save and encrypt the data. We can go back to the start and run the command again. Now we need to configure the SQL command, which is the command the bot will execute in your MySQL. We'll click here and copy the command that the bot provides by default from the VRB user's database. Here, you'll need to change the table name to match the one in your database. Mine is accounts, which has the user ID and the whitelist status of 0 or 1. Next, we need to specify the column name that indicates if the MySQL access is granted, 1, or not, 0. In my case, the column name is whitelist with a capital W. Now, we also need to look at the ID column. In my case, it's lowercase, so I won't change that. 
and for the equal sign and the question mark, you'll leave those where the bot will place the user's ID or allow list, because it will swap those out correctly when the time comes. Now we can select the release mode for our server, whether it will be a whitelist with automatic correction by the bot using a questionnaire or an allow list, where administrators have to manually approve what users submit. We can click to change this anytime. I'm going to leave it in whitelist mode. Here, we can also change the identification mode to specify if our server uses ID or allow list. In my case, it's ID, so I'll leave it as is. Now that we have the general settings configured, let's move on to setting up the channels and roles. Here, we have a blue label for the required roles in the whitelist system, green for the allow list system, and red for roles that must be present in both systems. The white circle is optional if you want to include it. You need to create the approved role, it's mandatory. We also have an review role for the allow list system, but I won't be configuring that in this video. You can add the bot to your server and test it out if you want. For the role of approves, we just need to mark the channel we created earlier. Remember to place the bot's role at the top of the server so it can manage the roles properly. In the approved channel, I'll create a channel where people who pass the whitelist will be approved or denied. Alright, now let's first show the configuration for the whitelist mode without questions, which is super quick. You need to click on release without questions. If you have a subscription, you can customize the message. If not, it will use a default message. Here, I'll set the title, description, color, and image. And then we'll save it in this channel. Now we can click the button, set our name, and the ID as we configured it to be by ID. The bot will send a message letting the person know they've been approved in the channel we set up. If we check our MySQL database, we'll see that the status has changed from 0 to 1, granting the person access. We can also see that they've already received the approved role. The name in my Discord hasn't changed because the bot doesn't alter the names of administrators or the server owner. Now, let's show how the whitelist works with predefined questions and answers for people to click on, almost like a quiz. Here we have the shuffle mode option to randomize the questions and answers, making each person's whitelist unique so others can't just copy the same answers. Now, let's create one of the questions. I'll set the title as what is VDM, and put the first answer as the correct one, which is run over for no reason. For the other options, I'll just add some random incorrect answers since there can only be one correct response. Now I'll create another question for you, what is RDM? I'll put an incorrect answer as the first option, and the second answer will be killing someone for no reason. For the other options, I'll just add random incorrect answers. And then I'll save it. Now we can go back to the beginning and click on message to create whitelists. Since I have a premium subscription for the bot, we can customize the message. I'll set the title, description, color, image, and button name just like before. And that's it. We'll have the message for people to create their whitelists. I'll now demonstrate how the whitelists work and how the allow lists are quite similar. Except in the allow list, you'll type in your answers instead of selecting options like in the whitelist with automatic correction. Here we can see that the bot already displays a welcome message for the whitelist, letting us know we have two hours to complete it. This is the default time, but you can change it if you have the exclusive bot plan by contacting bot support. Now, we can enter the information normally and select the randomized options as mentioned since we chose to shuffle the questions and answers. And we're done! We got approved because we answered everything correctly. The bot sends a message in private and in the channel we configured earlier, 
And we can also see that the bot updates the MySQL database if you've set it up correctly. And that's it. This is the bot. I'll quickly demonstrate how to set up the allow list since it's the administrators who review the allow lists. First, we need to switch the mode to allow list. Next, we have to define the in review role that we hadn't set up before because we were using the whitelist. Finally, we need to set a channel where the administrators will receive the allow lists to approve or deny them. Now let's quickly create the allow list questions so the video doesn't get too long. I'll add a question, what is RDM, with a random description. Next, I'll put another question, what is VDM, and add another random description, using shuffle mode to mix up the order of the questions. And there we go! Now we can go back to the beginning and set up the message like we learned before. The title, description, color, and image, along with the button name. And that's it. We can now create our allow list. As we can see, the allow list message follows the same format. We can enter our name and ID. And now we can answer the questions in the chat since real administrators will review them. As soon as we finish, we get notified that our allow list is pending and under review. The administrators receive messages when we start, finish, and what we answered for each question. Now we have a mini legend. The approve and set option will approve the person on Discord by assigning them the approved role and updating the database to reflect the approved whitelist. The approve option will only give the role in Discord while the reject option will deny the person. By clicking approve and set, I immediately receive the approved role, and the in review role is removed. When we have the in review role, we can't create an allow list, so it's important to create a separate role just for that. And that's it this is the bot. I hope you enjoyed the video and the bot. Whitelist M is very comprehensive and an essential bot for your server. It will be a great investment for your community which is why having a subscription is important. Just like you pay for a VPS or a dedicated server, the bot will represent your server's identity. So go ahead and add it to your server by visiting whitelistm.com. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us in the comments or on our support discord. Goodbye, everyone.